What's up guys, you're all here Fugitech, and 2020 has been a challenging year for Huawei. But it didn't stop the company from releasing multiple smartphones to address the user's demand for performance, photography, and 5G. The company showed no sign of slowing down and unveiled the Huawei Mate 40 series just last month. One of those devices is the Huawei Mate 40 Pro, packing most everything the company is known to be good at. But is this the flagship smartphone to get in 2020? Let's find out. Let's talk about the design first. The Huawei Mate 40 Pro sports a familiar design and is like a merge between the Mate 30 Pro and the P40 Pro. We have a large screen that curves on the sides, although it seems like it has a thicker bezels at the top and bottom. On the right, we have the volume buttons and the power lock button with a red accent in place and near the center, so it is still easy to reach. Up top, we have the earpiece, loudspeaker, IR blaster, and microphone. Meanwhile, at the bottom, we have the loudspeaker, USB Type-C port, and the card slot for the Nano SIM card and NM card. At the back, you will see a reflective glass back along with its protruding circular camera module that houses the 15-megapixel main camera, 12-megapixel ultrawide, 12-megapixel telephoto, laser autofocus, and another microphone for video recording purposes. The Mate 40 Pro is every inch a premium device. It has a decent heft and the curves are seamless that makes it also comfortable to hold. For the display, the Mate 40 Pro is equipped with a large 6.76 inches screen with a resolution of 2772 by 1344 which equals to 456 ppi. The screen resolution can be adjusted to 2772 by 1344 or 1848 by 896 or choose smart resolution to allow the device to adjust the resolution based on your activity to save power. It's a pretty packed screen for its size, so icons and high-res images and videos come out sharp. Its OLED panels produce punchy colors and deep blacks, while the 90Hz refresh rate is just visually pleasing with a smooth animation and transitions. Go in the display settings, you will see several options to tweak. You can adjust the color mode and temperature, and enable and disable dark mode. You can also select between 60Hz and 90Hz refresh rate depending on your preference or power needs. Audio-wise, the Mate 40 Pro boasts two speakers, one at the top and one at the bottom. As expected of the Mate series, the audio is excellent. It's not as good as a dedicated Bluetooth speaker, but it's loud, rich, and full. You will really enjoy the experience if you're just casually enjoying a movie or TV show on a couch or a bed. Talk about software, it runs on EMUI 11 based on Android 10 and uses HMS instead of GMS. While it doesn't have Google Play services and apps, it does come with cool and handy features. Some of them include floating multi-windows, side dock for apps, multi-screen collaboration, pedal search, and Huawei Share. When it comes to pre-installed apps, there's Snapchat, Agoda, AliExpress, and Lazada. Despite the beautiful UI and nifty features, we still can ignore the disadvantage due to the lack of Google Play Store. Even with the presence of the rapid growing app gallery, there are some apps that we find hard to install, like benchmark apps. So now for the performance, powering the Mate 40 Pro is the Kirin 9000 SoC with 8GB of RAM and 256UFS 3.1 storage. While we cannot install some of our benchmark apps and other games we want to play, we can still say that the performance is top-notch. Apps launch and load quickly, switching between apps is a breeze and snappy, the biometric scanners are fast and accurate, and Asphalt 9 in its highest settings didn't even stutter. Warming can be felt on the backside but not hot enough to be serious concern. When it comes to battery, it has 4,400mAh capacity with support for 66W supercharge and 50W wireless supercharge. The Mate 40 Pro is good in battery management as we're getting more than a day using it for heavy social media, light photography, and at least 8 hours of continuous LTE Wi-Fi hotspot. For our video loop test, which involves playing a 1080p video on loop, 
in airplane mode at 50% brightness and volume with headset plugged at 90Hz refresh rate, we got us a score of 16 hours and 13 minutes of playback, which is not bad. On the other hand, charging using the 66W supercharge took less than an hour from 0 to 100. Now for cameras, the Mate 40 Pro has a triple camera setup consisting of 50 megapixel with an aperture of 1.9 ultra vision primary, 12 megapixel cine camera ultra wide with an aperture of 1.8, and a 12 megapixel telephoto lens with OIS with an aperture of 3.4, while its front shooter consists of 13 megapixel. Checking out the sample photos we got, the images produced are one of the sharpest we've seen. The colors are punchy yet accurate, the contrast is just right, and the dynamic range is great. It's easy to just point and shoot as out of focus is fast in most cases, even in low light. Images taken using the optical zoom are good, the hybrid is decent, but the digital zoom lacks detail. If you are wondering if it can still take a photo of the moon, yes, it can. Now, portrait shots also look amazing with a good subject and background separation. Huawei is improving in this aspect as it was able to identify loose hair and still separate it from the background. When it comes to selfies, it does a good job producing bright selfies with great detail in accurate colors. The beautification effect is also impressive as it was able to clear out blemishes without removing essential facial features like wrinkles, making it look more natural. The 3D depth sensing camera is also effective in providing that bokeh effect. As for video, you can shoot up to 4K resolution at 60 frames per second. Like the images, the quality is also good with great dynamic range, accurate colors, and sharp details. If you want videos with minimal shakes, make sure to activate the steady shot feature on the upper left corner of the camera UI. Now for the conclusion, the Huawei Mate 40 Pro without a doubt is the best smartphone that the company has released to date. It's almost the perfect smartphone, giving us a large immersive screen with high refresh rate, great speakers, powerful cameras, amazing performance, great battery life, cool software features, and comprehensive connectivity features. What will probably ruin the experience for some users is the lack of Google Play support. And it's not even Huawei's fault. But in a world where Huawei has access to Google, this is the perfect smartphone. So yeah, that's it for our Huawei Mate 40 Pro review. What do you guys think about this smartphone? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, hit that bell icon so to miss any future uploads, and be sure to visit yugatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. This has been Rel, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.